Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chuki Chen, and today we are chatting with... Hey yo, that's me. So yeah, where are you based and what do you do? Okay, so actually I'm based in France. I work in Jenny Mobile, and that's the company who developed Jenny Motion, the project I'm working on nice. every day. Great, and how do you get involved into Android development? How do you start? Uh, I started during an internship uh, at SFR, that's uh, uh, an internet provider in France and okay. I had a very interesting project, that was my first Android application and I started uh, two weeks after the Cupcake SDK had been published. Early. Great. Yeah. Can you tell us more about your first app or that's the secret? Absolutely not. That was on the Play Store quite uh, oh, okay. uh, early. Oh, okay. Not secret. And uh, the, the idea was uh, an application that allows you to control uh, 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 motorized webcam. So ah. you had this IP webcam uh, in your house, uh -huh. and with your phone you are able to just uh, watch it and control. Wow! The, yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah, that's. I guess that's fun. why you get interested and you keep doing it. I mean, it's and, been quite yeah. a few years since then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I really found this technology very interesting, and then I used to do G2ME uh, development when I was a student. Okay. For an uh, interesting project on right. Domoti with media player and things like that, and I developed on my. I don't remember the model, the, uh, the model of this one. It was sure. a, a, a kind ago. of smartphone. Uh -huh. But I've done G2ME during one year, and then I discovered the Android SDK and the ecosystem that was almost uh, um, uh, consistent. So you develop an application and you can run answerable devices right. quite easily. Right. When you compare it to G2ME, it just yeah. you, know, you have to develop one application right. for each model exactly. you want to support. Much easier. Yeah, incomparable. incomparable. Yeah. So you've been doing quite a few years of Android development. Um, I'm very curious because I have been, well, I wouldn't say teaching, but I run a GDG group in Boulder. And there's a lot of people who got started in Android, maybe they, are, they go through the tutorial and then they are kind of a year or two into it and they feel like they want to improve a bit more. Sure. Um, do you have any advice to give people who are, you know, they're past Hello World already, but they're not sure how to improve further? Okay, actually, my answer, my first answer, mm -hmm. is to read the whole the documentation. Oh, because documentation? The, yeah, the, the, the official one. Why? It, sometimes it's a little bit boring, but right. it's extremely interesting in how many content, many tips, many improvement tips that you can have and, and best practice in development. And the other thing is really, there is on the internet a lot of conferences that have been recorded with guys that are ta ta talking about mm. things that they are leaving, or even from Google, right. at, uh, DevOx, uh, the DevOx conference, right. are really good, for example, yeah. with our memory management. We have a lot of really, uh, uh, extremely interesting content on the internet, and specifically uh, on YouTube or on the video. Right. Uh, uh, so, so you've been have keeping learning new things by watching videos. Exactly. Do you also go to conferences? I mean, like, I feel that the, the experience is a little bit different when you're sitting at home watching the video and you're going to a conference in person. Yeah, in per uh, okay. My point of view is that, that at the conference, it, um, that's very good to network. Ah, you meet a lot of people, you right. can share with the guy that uh, do a conference and right. have more insight about the technology he's managing, but what, how I, I, am I working is that I follow the conference three the events uh -huh. when I'm not speaking and I don't right. have to prepare my deck at the right. last minute. Yeah. Um, but I, when I will come back, I always work not always, but I try to have always a conference that I'm following in mm. one year and working with my eyes and my brain. So when, yeah, and I'm. So that's your sense. background music, it's not music. But exactly, yeah. and uh, when I can do it, and I'm not full uh, inside my right. uh, code or anything. Uh, yeah. I do that and, uh, with interesting subjects, and sometimes I, I do. maybe uh, yeah. some some conference I update it three or four times yeah. just That's to have true. all the information. But uh, you can do it continuously yeah. and pick up good information. I do the same thing, I mean slightly differently. So, for example, for Google I/O, yeah. um, I will go there and there are so many sections going on, and there's yeah. so many people I want to talk to. But I know that Google I/O they have it recorded, so it will be available on YouTube later, and I will. If I have to choose between talking to someone and going to listen to a session, I'll talk to someone. Completely. Yeah. 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 Y
completely agree right. with that. Right, and then what will happen is after uh, Google I.O., I will end up, oh, I have a TV in my bedroom, so I will end up watching TED Talks before I sleep, so that my husband's <laughs> like, uh, can we do something else? I don't want to listen to Android um, in the bedroom, uh, but for me, it's a great way to just, like you said, like catch up and you can do that outside of the conference, and in a way it works better because I feel like I could focus, I mean, I cannot ask questions, but I can actually find them on the internet. As exactly, well. and so, if the speaker yeah. is good, the content is structured, so you can have mobile links, you can have, right. uh, you can dive in, uh, yeah. and and uh, yeah, and the good thing is that we now we have years of experience, so we match many things on yeah. average. But there is always on good conferences one or two ideas to pick and to use right. later. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I feel like I'm just. Soaking it all in and putting it in the back of my head, and then go on my day, do my things, exactly. and then three months later, oh, I remember watching that video about that technique, and then I can go look it up Look, later. I have a friend that have a very, very good tip and a very, very good uh, way of management. The ID it, it just crap at the moment. Yeah. He sent himself a mail with the content and the link. Uh -huh. the same. So he can and, search later. Yeah, and uh, because he's hosting his own uh, uh, email server, right. that's like his own Wikipedia. <laughs> Interesting. And yeah. this guy is very good at it. Good I tried to do it, but I'm not so good. Yeah, I, I, I'm not very organized in that sense. Maybe I should find it better. Yeah. Well, the, the email ID is very good. I should, I should try it. Better. Well, Great talking with you. And if people want to follow up, and um, where do they find you on the internet? Okay, I, I have a personal website where there is no content, but all my <laughs> network uh, links. So it's a one in direction. <laughs> exactly, and then you choose the one you want. Okay. Uh, so, so what's that? Uh, al dot uh -huh. yeah, uh, the, the, the spelling is e y a l dot f r. Uh, okay, great. And for me, I'm on Twitter most of the time, and you can find me at Chuki. That's C H I U K I. Well, great talking to you. Thank you very much, Chuki. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.